This is Sarge here at C4 Defense. Today we're going to talk about 9 versus 40 versus 45 out of a subcompact. Before we get started, let's go ahead and put some 9mm on target. Ah, I'm missing! For the purposes of this comparison, I'm going to use the Glock 26 9mm, the Glock 27 40 caliber Smith & Wesson, and the Glock 30 45 ACP, all in Gen 4 configuration. This is not going to be a scientific test. This is just going to be my thoughts on felt recoil, my perception of accuracy of the gun, and the overall comparison between the three in the various calibers. Like I said, they're all subcompacts. I am going to show you some different magazine options in case we need to carry them in a different configuration. We're just going to talk a little bit about the specs on each one of these guns. This is a subcompact Glock 26, 9 millimeter, about 4.2 inches high, about 6.4 inches long, 3.42 inch barrel. This is a double stack. So it's standard of the, the full size guns and the, and the compacts. So it's 1.18 inches wide, I think. This one I've upgraded to the Ameriglow Night Sights. It is a handy little gun. It comes standard with a, let me go ahead and get it, 10 round flush fit magazine. But I've also got some other options. I have the Pierce grip extension. This is a plus two. This changes it to 12 rounds. I have a full size mag. This one being the ETS. This one is a 17 with the X grip extension to give you the full size grip. And of course, I have a fun stick. I have a 31 round ETS mag in case you really need to get the job done. The Glock 27 has all of the same physical dimensions, physical specs. This one has Trigicon night sights as the Glock 26. It comes with a flush fit nine round magazine standard. I've also got the plus one Pierce grip extension. It helps when you want to get a little bit better handle on this gun. Works pretty well. I also have a full size Glock 22 mag. This is a 15 round capacity with the X grip extension to give you that full size grip. It's got the same dimension as a Glock 22 right now. And of course I have the Glock 22 fun stick that they offer 22 round. That's the longest one you can get in 40 caliber. This one, a lot of fun with the, with the 22 rounder in it as well. The Glock 30 is the 45 ACP offering in a subcompact. This is a little bit different. It's, a little, it's about a quarter inch longer than the Glock 26 and 27. It's about a quarter inch taller, not exactly, but about a quarter inch taller. The barrel is 3.77 inches versus the 3.42. It is a little bit wider. It's, the, it's like the Glock 21 and the Glock 29. It's about an eighth of an inch wider, maybe a little bit more. This one has Trigicon night sights. This used to come standard with a nine round flush fit magazine. So I bought one extra. That makes it act like a compact, but it comes now with a 10 round magazine extension. This is the Pierce grip extension. It doesn't add anything. It just makes it look a little bit better and it's got the same uh, knurling on the front. So it's got a nice good grip. I also have a full size magazine, which is a 13 round Glock 21 mag with an X grip to give it a full size grip if you need it. So this is a very versatile gun. It's a very fun gun to shoot and let's go try them all out on some steel to get started and then we'll move over to some paper. We're gonna start off at 10 yards, which is the closest distance that you could safely shoot steel. I'm gonna use the flush fit magazine in each of these. So my pinky's gonna be hanging off the bottom of the grip. So we're just gonna see how accurate it is from distance. I'm gonna start from the biggest and work my way and hopefully hit all the way down to the smallest. Let's, you, let's start off with the Glock 26. All right, let's get that little one. Oh, I missed it. 
I missed it again. This is my fault. Not the gun. It's me. So, it wasn't the gun. It was my lack of concentration, but that's as accurate as you need it to be. Let's try the 27. Now, this one only has a nine round capacity, and you can tell the difference in the, the recoil right there. It's, it's violent, but oh man, what am I doing? There we go. It's violent, but accurate. It's got a not, well, it's got a lot of kick versus that 26, but it still does the job and it do, does the job well. So Glock 27. Now let's move on. Now the Glock 30 45 ACP is, has a lot less recoil than the, uh, than the 27 and not really, it's pretty accurate and really not much more than the 26. It's of course the biggest of the three and it should handle just a little bit better. Let's go ahead and put some on paper. Now we've moved up to five yards, your typical self-defense distance. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot about 10 pretty quickly and then I'm gonna put the remainder of these on the head to see if I can get them pretty accurate. As you can tell, I already messed one up, but let's go ahead and keep going. All right, now let's go for the head. All right, other than the one that I messed up at the beginning, this thing is a joy to shoot with that full-size magazine. 17, well, not 17 plus one, but I just had 17 in it. That X grip really makes it nice. Now I'm gonna do the same thing, full-size magazine, X grip. Let's go ahead and draw from the Glock 27. I still shoot a little bit left, that's me. And I still shoot a little bit left even when trying to aim, but that's me. This thing's a little bit more snappy, I like to call it, but it's still, it's controllable. You just gotta get used to it. It's not nearly as easy as the nine millimeter, but it's not that bad either. Let's go ahead and try the Glock 30. I had to go ahead and switch holsters. That Glock 30 will not even come close to fitting in the 26 or 27 holster. Let's try it again. All right, let's get the last three. Well, Better than the 27, not quite as good as the 26. It's pretty much how they rank. 26, 30, and the 27. I wanna thank Shane over at Smoky Mountain Concealment for making me this fantastic Glock 26, Glock 27 holster. This stuff is as good or better than anything out there in the country. I'll have a link in the description below. Go ahead and check them out. Go ahead and pick something up. Like I said, you will not be disappointed. And why wouldn't we come over here and shoot the Glock 26 without shooting 31 rounds out of the ETS fun stick? Let's go ahead, see how it does. Although it does look just a little bit ridiculous in the holster. Let's go ahead, we're gonna put them up on that one up there in the corner and see how it goes. Wow, that is smooth as absolute glass. So nine versus 40 versus 45. I'm kind of partial to this Glock 26. The Glock 30 takes second place and the Glock 27 takes third. So remember as always to subscribe, comment, like, hit that notification button if you're already a subscriber. See if you can help us out on Patreon. We'll see you on the range.